The highly anticipated second season of Yellowstone, also known as the show's final season, is scheduled to air in November 2023. Despite the fact that it is regrettable to realize that there are only a few episodes left to appreciate Yellowstone before it is gone forever. The redeeming quality for me is the realization that this season will have more episodes than anticipated. We were aware at the time that the season would run for more than 10 episodes altogether because it was divided into two parts. However, as the season progressed and the show's final episode aired, the number of episodes increased even more. Taylor Sheridan made it clear that he would make the most of every second to ensure that there were no plot holes in the series. Yellowstone Universe gets a ton of analysis for having not many episodes each season, as though it were an English program. We are all aware, however, that television shows have undergone significant transformations over the past 10 years. As the series creation quality has improved, quantity of episodes has diminished. Miniseries ruled the TV and every streaming platform for a considerable amount of time. Some of them have as not many as six episodes. The majority of us watched the entire thing in one sitting, as if we were watching an extremely lengthy film. However, when a show like Yellowstone adopts the similar format, as was the case here, things may become a little irritated. We were dissatisfied as fans because the show only aired for 10 weeks each year and had to be watched all year. However, there are still seasons of the main Yellowstone show that are able to convey a story that makes sense and is entertaining. The prequels didn't even have that. All things considered, all we got was a concise gander at a family's everyday exercises during an alternate time. 1883 was particularly disappointing for many fans because the plot moved so quickly and abruptly ended just as we were getting used to the characters. We generally attribute Sheridan's failure to write sufficiently long and concise scripts and this particular hit establishment flaw to him. Sheridan, on the other hand, has recently put an end to this flurry of responses by revealing that he has tried his hardest to get more time on his shows overall, but the production company has not agreed. At first I had no say in anything, he continued. I have no say over the schedule. It is not up to me to choose 